Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Deadpool and Cable issue 25 where we have Nathan go head to head against Captain America. And we get the fascinating revelation that both of these characters are connected to each other. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So the story starts off. We have Nick Fury. He's briefing Captain America. S.H.I.E.L.D. is worried about the existence of Providence, this utopic island nation that Cable has created. He wants to send in Steve Rogers to spy on Cable and, if possible, to take him down once and for all, since sending the Silver Surfer didn't work. So in prior issues of this series, Silver Surfer was sent in to take down Cable because they were worried that, through Providence, Cable is going to try to take over the world. And what happened with Norman Rad is basically he lobotomized Cable so he can't use his mutant powers anymore. So what Cable has been doing as of late, he's been stealing military technology and making shady deals with all types of organizations to compensate for the loss of his powers. So basically now, Cable through technology has been able to replicate his telekinetic powers. And with the character Black Box, he's able to astral project himself into the internet and access any and all information that he needs. So what happens is Captain America arrives on Providence and he's astounded how much he actually likes the place. He thought Cable was sort of like this crazy dictator. And as time progresses, he starts to sort of admire the guy, how he's running the show. And he actually mentions that Cable reminds him of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So I really like the detail that Fabian Nicieza remembers that Captain America has a background in the arts and that on Providence, he's actually put to work um, painting murals. So Captain America is completely conflicted about this whole situation when he's confronted by Cable in his apartment. He's holding Cap's shield and we get the big revelation that in the future, Cable is going to be the one using Cap's shield. He actually rescued it on one of his missions fighting against Apocalypse forces. But Cable explains to Captain America that he risks his life to save the shield because what the shield represents. And it was a great honor and responsibility to be able to carry the shield in the first place. But obviously, we do have a brief little skirmish between both characters. Cable is able to talk Captain America down. And then he gives him the big revelation that the government is actually spying on the new Avengers. That, that whole clash that they had with the Thunderbolts during the Thunderbolt series that was also written by Fabian Nicieza was a distraction to bug the whole uh, base of operations that they had. So at the end of the story, we get the pretty interesting revelation that Cap sort of stays on Utopia for a while and he keeps on painting murals. It's a really nice ending to the story. And it's also going to establish an alliance between Captain America and Cable that's going to be prolonged during the Civil War crossover. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.